Hey guys, welcome to my November Happy Mail call. <laughs> um, this month's theme was Christmas or any other religious holiday. If you're not familiar with Mail Call, I choose a different theme each month and you send cards and I showcase them at the beginning of the following month or at the end of the current month. Um, next month's theme is New Year's or Winter. I haven't thought of any themes for next year and I wanted your input since you guys that watch and send the cards um, are obviously interested in all the cards that come in and sending cards for the mail call. What would you like some of the themes to be? I thought about doing stamp companies like January will be Lawn Fawn and February will be MFT, but I don't want to limit people that want to participate. Uh, either way, I would show their card. But um, what are some themes you would like to see? So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, this was this November's theme was Christmas or other religious holidays. First, I keep all my cards as I get them in a basket. I had these. I had taken everything out and these were left in the basket. So I don't know who they're from. <laughs> Because um, sometimes I'll open a card and just put a sticky on who it is and then stick it in the basket. Anyway, these fell out. So I'm going to show them first. If they're from you, please comment down below. They're so pretty. But they're little gift tags. Two from stamped on the back with a little ribbon. I really like these. And literally when I saw them at the bottom of the basket, I was like, oh no. Because <laughs> I like to give credit to whoever creates them. So let me know if you are the one. So I wanted to show those. This first item is not a card. It's a little box. But it was made from Joan, who is in Denmark. And she um, used the Berry Christmas from Love From Lizzie, which I recently did a video on it. It is so cute. And I love it. Oh, it does open. Oh, that's what I get for just opening stuff and putting it aside. But it's a box, but then it is a card. That is so cute. I love it. And again, the decoupaging, decoupaging, decoupage, um, adding dimension. I just love this. So cute. Thank you, Joan. That's precious. This next card is from Nicole. Happy holidays. It's beautiful. And then I love the inside. Wishing you lots of smiles this holiday season. The ink blending is really pretty. I love the way the snow drifts look. Little colored bunny. She says the bunny on the sled is purple onion designs. Stacy Yakula Studio called Hope. Have you ever checked out purple onion design stamps? They are some sweet looking stamps. I need to get some. Um, the little hat is MFT Ski Sons Greetings. The happy is Winnie and Walter die in the sentiment, I think the holiday sentiment as well as the inside sentiment is Merry Messages. So really cute and a little glitter strip on top of the snow drift. So thank you for that, Nicole. That is really sweet. Next, I have this card from Cindy. This one is so cute. I like the four squares and then the gingerbread house. Really cute. And I know you can buy dies that cut out the four squares, but I like the way she just added four squares of different pattern paper. It looks like she did some ink blending on them to create the window look. So you don't need the expensive die to create the same look. The pattern paper, then she added some stitching, which was really creative. Colored little gingerbread with some glossy accents, lots of glitter. Gingerbread people have glossy accents as well, or some sort of glossy accent type of liquid. So really sweet. Love that. This one isn't part of the mail call, but I wanted to show it anyway. It's from Jude, my sweet friend. She did thanks. It's a thank you card for participating in her blog hop. She, um, stitch this which is really pretty but she made me a sequin mix and I just wanted to show the sequin mix look at the scissors isn't that adorable I love it so looking forward to using that for some shaker cards 
Next are some cards from Paula. These are beautiful cards. I absolutely love this one. And how she made the tree with the paper. That is so cool. Just beautiful. This is peace. And then inside season's greetings. Really love that. Love to know how to do that as well. And then she made this one, which I love. I love that ribbon. This is Merry and Bright. Something so simple. Just stamp the image, add a little bit of glitter for snow, and then colored a few of the pieces of the image. I really like that. Stuck it on some pattern paper. She says she's found, she, the old 38 truck I have wanted since last year. And when I saw this wood stamp at Tuesday morning, it had my name on it. So she grabbed it, which really pretty. Love this card. And then this one, Believe in the Magic of Christmas. Peace, love, and joy. So really pretty. Thank you for that, Paula. And this gorgeous card is from Heather. I don't have the envelope anymore, but I think um, if I'm remembering correctly, Heather is in Canada. And this baby penguin, which is so stinking precious, is by Hero Arts. Um, she says she's seen the Northern Lights. So um, this is beautiful. She says it's beautiful. I can't even imagine. She says it's like... An electric light show dancing across the sky. I would be in complete awe if I was able to ever see that in real life. But really cute. That penguin is so precious. And of course, the ink blending is beautiful. This is, a, I think, the first time I've seen this dye. I was unsure about it when I first saw it, but I actually like it now seeing it in person. But so cute. And that is a beautiful card. Wishing you a magical Christmas season. Wishing you a joyous holiday filled with peace, love, and prosperity. I like that font. So beautiful card. Love that. Oh, and there's the matching envelope. Oh, I may have to get this stamp set. <laughs> so cute. Here is a card from Aisha in Finland. Adorable little reindeer stamp. The stamp is by Creative Expressions called Reindeer. It was colored with zig markers. The snowflakes are by Sizzix, Tim Holtz. So adorable. Happy Christmas to you. And then a couple snowflakes inside. I like the five and a half by five and a half card size. That's cool. And then the stitched circle die. Really cute with the googly eyes. So these sweet cards are from Hill in the Netherlands. Please let me know if I'm saying your name wrong. Um, they are two Christmas cards. I have seen these stickers before. The reindeer stickers. Really pretty. Real sparkly too. But this one says Merry Christmas everyone. Looks like another sticker was used with some pattern paper. And then a snowflake and that cool deer. And then same design, a different color and pattern paper. Really like that. These would be easy and quick to make if you need a whole bunch of Christmas cards. These are from Paulette. This is an artist, artist impressions. Is that right? My mind just went blank. Art impressions. There we go. Um, <laughs> one of the ladies. How funny is she? Ho, ho, hooray, it's ugly sweater time. So cute. I like the little jingle bells on her shoes. <laughs> That's adorable. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. And then the matching envelope. Cute. And then this one, sing praise. All is calm, all is bright. I like that sentiment. Stamped pretty. But really pretty. And this card is from Monica in Norway. I am so obsessed with this size of card. It is so cool. I have got to make one before my Christmas. Well, my pitiful Christmas series of two cards so far is ridiculous. But I need to make one of these sizes of cards. It is so cool. Love the Christmas lights. And then it just fits in a business size envelope. Just love it. Christmas greetings. So pretty. And then I love, love the match. I know I showed this in my last video, but 
she decorated the envelope and it's gorgeous and darn post office had to go and put that but still I keep it <laughs> it's beautiful too pretty to throw away the envelope is the same way just pretty and then I got some cards for my friend Toby she sent quite a few which is always awesome not overkill as your note had said nope <laughs> love it so this is one this is actually a stampin up stamp and I think it is so adorable. I don't have it, but I did consider getting it. But we recently had a new catalog come out. Well, it's going to come. There goes my light bulb again. It's going to come out in, at the end of December or January, something like that. So I'm saving up for that. But this stamp set is adorable. I love it. Anything animals, I'm all about that. Merry Christmas inside. So cute. Love the embossing. Precious. And then this really cute little Elvis card. I will have a blue Christmas without you. So cute. Creative. Adorable. And then she made a Hanukkah card, which I think is awesome. Because I don't celebrate Hanukkah. So obviously I'm not going to gravitate towards stamps or any paper. But she made this gift tag. And here is the card, and she says the digital. It's a digital paper pack by Alphabet Store on Etsy. So really cool. Love that. Then this is also a Stampin' Up stamp set, the Nutcracker. I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but I'm pretty sure this is Stampin' Up. If you're watching Toby, correct me if that is not right. But that, um, I'm thinking that's a Stampin' Up stamp set. Oh, and this is cool. So you open it, it's like a little pop-up. Magical moments and sugar plum dreams bring sparkle and wonder to everything. Wishing you a wonderful season. So love that. And it's so easy. I don't know why I don't make pop-up cards. Probably because there's not enough time in my life right now. But love that pop-up card. And then she gave me this. Some little goodies oh my gosh I see an Elvis <laughs> how cute that's adorable oh is this supposed to be Lisa Marie how sweet so a couple Elvis and I'm assuming Lisa Marie Presley characters how cute so cute <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and these window uh, Polaroid frames. I love these. Can never have enough of these. And this size is cool. Small. Love that. And some larger ones. I actually have a We Are Memories Keepers punch board that cuts all different sizes and shapes of that. Still in the package. Never used. Here is a guitar to go with Elvis. I can get my stuff straight, my goodness. There's a guitar, and then I have these little characters, winter characters. How cute. So sweet. And then some hearts. It's pretty. I like that gold. And some tags. Here's from the Simon's Stamp Kit. These are look familiar. These are nice just to throw on a gift. Nice to have on hand. And then some itty bitty trees, Christmas trees. And then here's some of that Hanukkah paper. Cool. Thank you for this, Toby. This is so cool. So that is it for this month's mail call. Oh, wait. I wanted to show this. Toby sent me this card with a note inside, but I wanted to show it off anyway. So pretty. So that is it for this month's mail call. Like I said, next month is New Year's or winter theme. If you sent next month's with this month's, I do have it put aside to show next month. Let me know what you guys would like to see. I'm interested to see what you come up with as far as themes. And be creative as you want. Um, and then I'll go ahead and put a new, uh, the whole year up um, as soon as I decide on what themes to have for next year. 
Um, so let me know if you have any questions. If you have questions about any of the cards you saw, leave a question. And if you sent a card, um, glance at any of the comments and see if there are any questions about your card. But so let me know if you have any questions and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.